uh, yeah, I'm happy to share uh, my screen with you and share for the next 15 minutes uh, some insights into our study program with you. So um, our study program, uh, as you have already learned, is called International Business Administration. And uh, I am from Rhinewald University. The city is called Cumberlandford, which I would assume uh, none of you has ever heard so far. Um, I am professor at this university. I'm there since uh, 10 years by now, and uh, I'm professor in finance and accounting. So if you opt for studying with us, you're going to meet me uh, in your first semester, Thursday morning, 8.15 for financial accounting, where we do bookkeeping and stuff like that, and also like for any finance related classes. I'm not only pro professor in the study degree, but also the head of the study program. And this is why I am here for you today. So this is us, uh, our university, as you've already seen, so I can skip this. Just a very few remarks on the university overall. So we are a pretty young university. You can see that we have been established in 2009. We are a public university, which means that we do not have any study besides like the, the pretty small public study fees in Germany, which is obviously an example, and we have two locations uh, in Germany, the one you saw in Kaplinford, where the study degree is actually uh, that I am representing here, uh, and we have, an, have, have another larger faculty um, being located in Kleve. Overall, we have 7,000 students, and what makes us special among the German public universities is that actually 53% of our students are international students, and this is something which is in Germany indeed very rare. So 75% of our degree programs are actually taught in English language, which really makes our uh, university like one of a kind, uh, at least speaking about the public universities on a bachelor degree level. There are a lot of universities offering English speaking master degrees, but not that many with bachelor degrees. So um, I am from the Faculty of Communication and Environment. This is the one which is located in Camp Linford. And here I would like to give you a short impression of our campus here, which is uh, brand new. We moved here, like I would say, I don't know, five years ago or so, uh, which is obviously an advantage because we have very new facilities, very new buildings. We have new technology with regards to teaching material and stuff like that, all laboratories as well as uh, PC pools and so on. Everything is well equipped. So this is an impression on that. Here is our faculty at a glance. I'm not going to go, go into the details here. You're going to be provided with the presentation later on and can check on that yourself. Uh, what is important, maybe the uh, information that we have 2,200 students overall at our faculty in our study program, International Business Administration, we have roughly 350 students enrolled and 47% uh, of them are international. So this is what is really nice. So, so we really interact in English language only. And uh, so it's, it's, it's really international. So this slide gives you a short overview on the different study programs. I don't want to go into detail here. The next thing we are focusing on is what is probably most important to you is our study degree, International Business Administration, which will offer you a Bachelor of Arts in the end of the day. So what I think is hopefully uh, most important is what you would learn uh, when you decide, when you opt for studying international business with us. So our, our study program is a uh, um, seven semester program, which means that overall you will earn 210 credit points, um, which is good because to 210 credit point is the, uh, for many master degrees, the entry minimum uh, of credit points you have to have. There are also six semester bachelor degrees um, that are being offered, but uh, in that case, uh, you have at the master level then often to, to kind of make up uh, some credit points. So uh, this is not the case here as we offer 210. So we have here the semesters. We start on the left-hand side with the first column, um, the, uh, the six modules that are being taught in the first semester. These different colors are basically giving you some insight into uh, the blue ones are like um, business content, uh, the green ones are rather like uh, methodology learning, and the yellow ones are key competencies. And then on the next page, 
I will show you the elective courses where you can specify in certain areas. So in the first semester, you get an overview on fundamentals of business administration. Then you learn financial accounting, economics, like about the overall um, economy, uh, some business law. You are going to do a math class and also learn scientific working, which is laying the grounds for your scientific work in the semest semesters to come afterwards. Second semester continues with operations and supply chain management, marketing, management accounting, which is about costs, uh, cost uh, calculation, how do I set my prices and things like that. And then also stuff like international economics, you learn project management, which is very important for your life uh, later on in business, and you will also do an, a statistics course here. Third semester. Uh, human resource management, strategic management, and business management. But we also teach uh, things like innovation management. This is a module our students really love always, where they learn a lot of new things like design thinking and stuff like that. Um, and also the one which we have here, entrepreneurship in Texas, uh, which prepares you to run your own business if you would ever be interested in that. So that's also a very, very nice module. The yellow one we, uh, you see here at the bottom, the key competency, we have a couple of key competencies that are being offered. So you could take, for example, um, a module such as communication and cooperation, uh, self-organization. You could do like an advanced Excel class here. You could do also like a language course. Uh, so you could, especially for, um, as most of you, I would assume, are international students. Uh, you can learn some German here, which is highly recommended if you stay here. So this can be done as a um, key competency. So there is like a broad variety of, of courses you can pick here to kind of uh, yeah, get better in your personal skills that are not uh, necessarily business uh, related. So then fourth semester and fifth semester are uh, the ones when it gets really interesting because uh, you can kind of follow your own interest even deeper. You see that you have like six dark blue modules right here, which are our elective courses. And here is an overview on the elective courses we are offering like marketing communications, corporate social responsibility, human resource development, uh, but also things like consumer psychology, which is very interesting. And you can also do a module which is advanced statistics, which is highly re recommended for those students who think about pursuing a master degree afterwards, because most of the master degree um, require a minimum amount of uh, like, let's say math, statistics, like so-called quantitative modules. And so we always recommend uh, to take our students uh, that want to opt for a master degree to choose this elective. Nevertheless, there are some students that don't like statistics that much. So if you say, well, I'm going to be fine with my bachelor, of course, you don't need to take it. So that's that's uh, the idea we have behind here. Then you see here uh, the green module, the so-called interdisciplinary project. That is something uh, special about our university um, where we have all fifth semester students from all our study degrees working together on a real life project. So we have uh, companies, we have like the city of Camp Limford, we have organizations coming to us with a real life problem that they wanna have a marketing uh, concept developed, they want to have a business plan for a certain thing they want to do in the future or something like that. And you as a group of, let's say, 15 students from different study degrees um, working for one semester on this specific project, and it's a really big module, you can see that you get for this module 10 credit points, so twice as, as much as for every other uh, module. And you can really help a real company to, to kind of work on this project. And that is really su something where most of the students say that was really a huge takeaway for me. And then I learned so much, especially when it comes also to uh, group management, to project management, to get things done and so on. And uh, like doing this for a real project and not only a fictional case study from the university, that is something really special here. And um, it's, it's also very nice that you are not only working together with your fellow students, but you always, um, you also have like the designers with you, the IT colleagues from other study programs. So if you want to develop a marketing campaign, for instance, it's very good to have a designer on board. And it's also very good to have an IT student on board who can program the app 
for instance. So then we move on to the sixth semester where you have basically two choices. You can do an internship, uh, which can be either in Germany or abroad. It can also be in your home country if you wish, or you can do a semester abroad. And as we are a so-called Erasmus University, that means that at the Erasmus partner universities within the European Union, uh, European Union, you can study there free of study fees, which uh, many of our students appreciate. So this is your choice what to do, but both is very interesting and both gives you a lot of opportunities for a later life. So seventh semester, then you're going to, uh, to write your bachelor of thesis and do the colloquium at the very end. At the beginning of the seventh semester, we have three workshops, which provide you again with additional insights or research methods and stuff like that. Uh, which you can uh, do uh, in order to prepare an even better bachelor thesis. And in the semesters before that, you're going to write like various seminar papers, term papers, do presentations and stuff like that, so that you're going to be very well prepared for that bachelor thesis and the final colloquium. So, uh, and this is um, where you can also like choose your professor, you can choose your topic, uh, negotiating with the professor so that you can really specialize uh, in, in an area that you like a lot and uh, so that uh, this will be an interesting finishing line of your study program, hopefully. So, uh, yeah, how does it work, our study program? We are an on-campus university, of course. We have learned a lot about digital teaching methods and stuff like that during the COVID-19 pandemic. So we do have some, some blended learning elements today. We also might have every once in a while an external lecturer doing um, a module on uh, like with digital teaching, but we can say that most modules uh, take place on campus today. Uh, and we really are happy to have our students back on campus because we really feel that uh, it's, it's a better working together if you are there and not only sit at home uh, at your PC. So we appreciate having students here, but um, we do appreciate that we can have some brilliant lecturers who might live in Munich or something, uh, and they can then do their module at least partly in an online teaching way, but, but uh, that's not uh, the way it is regularly. So here you can see my colleague Torsten, by the way, who is our economics teacher. So if you're interested in the uh, detailed content of our study program, I provided you with the link to our handbook of modules down here, where you can uh, read everything in further detail after this here. So this is our team. We have six professors, um, two females, four male. We are still working on gender diversity, but our scientific assistant, she is female. So uh, we are not that bad as it looks on this picture here. And uh, they are all smiling nicely. And I can tell you at least from my position, they all are indeed nice. And we uh, are the six of us, we are accompanied by some external lecturers, like let's say in law, in uh, digital technology, uh, human resource development, where none of us is like an expert in that field. We have some external lecturers as well, who are also doing a very nice job. So, um, and then I would like to give you just a very quick overview. I have three minutes left, if I see this correctly, about like the overall university setting, what else is to be done in uh, Rheinwald University and what other things are there. So we have, which is very important for our international students, we have an international center, center which is like the central hub for internationalization, for languages, international partnerships. We have a lot of partner universities all over the world. Uh, we offer like you exchange semesters free of charge with uh, Nicaragua. We have a partner university in the United States and stuff like that. So a lot of things there are actually to do. And also we are participating, as I said before, in the Erasmus and the DAAD program, which even offers you funding also for your study abroad stuff. So what is very nice for our international students is our welcome center. Uh, the welcome center is especially designed for the international students who come to Germany first time in their life and they have to, I don't know, have to get to know Germany, how to live in Germany, what to do here, what not to do maybe. And uh, they offer like tandems and uh, so give you a lot of support. They help you with looking for a flat and things like that. So um, that's really very nice. They, they also offer 
the Freshers Week, uh, which we have every year before uh, first semester starts, where all the newbies are being collected together and they are just having a great week get to know each other, where a lot of program is being offered about getting to, your, uh, to know the university, getting to know each other, what to do, and stuff like that. So, of course, we also do have a library. Uh, most of the library stuff is actually nowadays online. So when I, uh, I'm looking back, uh, when I was like falling through the library in the past, now it's very convenient and you can get access uh, to most of the resources actually on an online basis. So here's just one very quick overview on the student advisory services that we offer at our university, which I believe actually most universities do. Um, I'm lacking the time to go into detail uh, here, but I can say we have like a psychological counseling. We have a lot of also um, like um, support in if you want to apply for an internship, how should my CV look like if I apply for a company in Germany, how do I write an application letter, uh, there is a study guide if you, I don't know, missed an exam because you were like coming late due to visa problems or stuff like that and they're going to help you out um, with problems like that, so there's a lot of that also being available here. We have a huge alumni network uh, where many members are in there, where you kind of have the opportunity to stay in contact with your peers after graduation. Uh, there is also a Center for Academic Development and Quality, which kind of helps us to improve as uh, teaching staff, as programs and so on. And uh, we do have an e-learning center where you can also get access to various electronic resources that help you studying. <clears throat> there are also various scholarships available, um, which uh, can help you. Most of them are not only accessible, of course, for um, Rhein-Rhein University students, but to, to all students. But you find an overview here on our webpage. Well, and then, of course, we also have sports uh, with uh, more than 50 sports courses and uh, in more than 50 different sports uh, for students and staff where you can register, which is uh, free of charge for our students, which is also very much appreciated by our students. And we do have uh, also a lot of music and cultural events. Uh, we have a choir, university bands, uh, rehearsal rooms uh, and stuff like that. So, and besides that, uh, our ASTA is very, very active and they organize a lot of parties and things like that. So even if Kamp-Linford is a tiny city, honestly, uh, we still have a very nice student life going on. So student life on site, this is a picture of the freshest week that I mentioned, uh, the week when uh, all first semester students come together in the first week and get to know each other, which is always great fun. And uh, yeah, I can say, uh, I'm exactly, I hope, on time now, so I finish. And uh, let me just refer to uh, the webpage where you uh, find um, further information for prospective students 